I'm back. Alright. See what we got here. Boy, sit down. I'm part I'm back here with a part four. You know. Dang, I popped. Alright. We gotta find those explosives. There goes one. We still gotta arm three of the charges. Shut up, Sully. Do it on them. There should be only two left. Hmm. Oh, now this is the one I have trouble. Right, one more. We're out of here. I do not know where it is. I think it's. I don't know. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, that's all of them. Now let's go pay Mr. Lazarvich a visit. Okay, then let's go pay him then. Can't reach us. Come on over here. I'll give you a boost. That looks so gay, but you know. I don't judge. Come on, Gordon. <laughs> Jump up. Uh, well, uh, you got a great ass, Sully. Uh, thanks. There you go, kid. All right. Let's go. Ooh, that must have been some tsunami to wash these ships so far inland. Deserted. The pump is down. Uh, the damn thing is always breaking down. Come on, let's just fix it so we can get out of here. Look, they're not armed. Well, not that many. What are we waiting for? We can take these guys. I don't know, Sully. Maybe. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Damn. Could have used some help down here. <laughs> yeah, you would have been fine. There's another one for you. Sully! Ding! Punk. Huh? Enough of this frivolity, kid. Come on, we got work to do. What does frivolity mean? What do you bet we follow the hose? We find the cat. Mm. You always follow the hose. <laughs> Just like in Montreal, huh? You're never gonna forget that, are you? Oh, the dig. I think I see the cap up ahead. Cutscene. Okay, you ready? Wait, wait, just. Hold on a sec. Three months and you have found nothing. Well, well, well now wait, wait a minute. We've been commander. That must be Lazarevich. This man was caught stealing artifacts from site number five. You would betray me for this? No, no, Zoran, I can't explain. No, no need, no need. Uh, uh, I am surrounded by traitors and fools! What do you say we really ruined this guy's day? Do it. Go! All right, it's all yours, kid. I'll cover you from here. 
You're gonna cover? Oh, I was about to say. You covering me with a West 44 from long range, really? I'm not really safe. Okay, kid. It's showtime. I love that move. You know me. Why can it not be enabled? What the heck is it? Oh. He's not paying us enough for this shit. Shut up with you, I'm sick of your complaining. How does someone not hear that? But you know, I don't judge. What was that? corner buddy come on come around this corner buddy huh oh sit down sweet I'm a boss like that. Oh, wow. Man, this Lazarevich guy isn't screwing around, Sully. You should see all this stuff. He's got files on every expedition to find Shambhala. All the way back to the 1600s. What about Marco Polo's journals? <laughs> they are. Just hurry it up. You haven't got much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worthy pilgrim is granted a golden passport to conquer obstacles on his journey to Shambhala. Huh. Is that supposed to mean something? Beats me. Hold on. Here we go. It was with great sorrow that I left my fellow travelers to their fate. A fate decreed by the dreadful cargo we bore from Shambhala. You must have thought that tsunami was some kind of divine retribution. Wait a minute. Damn. Sully, I don't think the Chintamani Stone is here. What? Listen to this. I would have sooner endured the wrath of Kublai Khan himself than remove the Chintamani stone from that sacred shrine. Marco Polo never had the stone. Then what dreadful cargo is he talking about? I don't know. Well, if the stone's not here, what the hell is Lazarovich looking for? Shambhala. Here in Borneo? It's a little wide of the mark, don't you think? He must be trying to pick up Marco Polo's trail back to Shambhala. Why? <laughs> Because the stone is still there. <sighs> Chloe, can you talk? Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. In all this digging they've done, have they found any bodies, any remains at all? No, now that you mention it, nothing. Why? <laughs> Over 600 people were shipwrecked here, yet there's no bodies. Don't you find that a little odd? So where did they all go? Where would you go if a tsunami hit? To higher ground. Bingo. We head to that mountain. What do you bet we find Marco's pals? Chloe, can you meet up with us? Already on my way. Great. Uh-oh. Nate, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute, Sully. You don't have a minute. What's he? They're all dead. Oh, crap. Right out. Stay down, kid. I got you covered. Let's get it. Nate. Well, that's you. convenient. Right out.
bang bang. Shooting me. He died from something. <laughs> coming in on my right. Where? Oh. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something? Because I see no one here. They're closing in on me. Dude, the man had no one closing in on you. Shut up. And I killed him for you. Team! Talking about, I don't see anybody. <sighs> Should be this way. <laughs> Jump. Jeez. Freaking retard. No home training. It's like, we're silly old self. Oh. Whoa, Sully. Look at these stones. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. What stones? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Did you look at that? Oh, yeah. Hello. What do we have here? With any luck, it's the last resting place of Marco Polo's crew. Shall we check it out? Wow, this place must be thousands of years old. At least. Down this way. Wow. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Ooh, there must be hundreds of bodies down here. <laughs> Look at their teeth. They're all black. They're all like Whoa. That scared me. Hey, I think I found something. In here. What? They must have carried their cargo all the way up here after they There's were. There's none in here. You dummies. None in here. Move. There's nothing here. And 
There's nothing here. What the heck? Oh. I've seen this before. Sully, give me a light. Oh. Ooh. Wait a minute. This is blood. It's everywhere. It's like a real massacre. All right, let's follow the blood stains. Oh. We'll see if they lead somewhere. I get so confused on this, yo. See where to go. Oh, over here. Where did it go? Oh my gosh. Go this way. You gone. Get to this wall. Keep going. What the heck? Oh. Oh, I'm in the wrong place, so let's be going this way. I know I'm not. What the heck? Gosh, it's gonna be a long video, dude. Oh wow, who would be in here? Seems to end at this wall. Yeah, it's odd. This moves a little. Sully, help me out. Better work with the pushing. Okay. I think I hurt myself. Bet you did, buddy. The trail leads in here. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like they all killed each other. Probably did. You're just getting spooked. Finally, a cutscene. Wow. Look at this. What do we have here? Careful. Just kidding. Nate, you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Man, is that an ugly friggin' thing? What is it? Some kind of weapon? No, no, it's a, a purba. It's a ritual object from Tibet. It's used to destroy obstacles. Huh? No, you know, spiritual ones. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, could this be what Marco Polo was talking about? Kid, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> In his journal, he wrote that uh, the worthy seeker would be given a golden passport to conquer obstacles on the journey to Shambhala. So, what, this is it? Look, that's all really interesting, but where the hell is it a passport to? Well, maybe this map would help. Let me see that. <laughs> Between Greater India and the province of Tibet lies a field of exquisitely finished temples. Hundreds of 
gilded spire stretching as far as the eye can see. Hold on, I know this place. It's in Nepal. Yeah, except it's not just a field of temples anymore. It's a city. Well, that could make things a little more challenging. Now, hold on, there's more. In all these many temples, only one conceals the secret path to Shambhala. And that path shall only be revealed to the pilgrim who bears the golden passport. All <laughs> right, nice work, kid. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's get out of here. All right. See ya. Let's get going. I'm gonna go out and make sure the coast is clear. I'll see you in a bit. Really? Give me a hand, Nate. 